Good evening, YouTube, BookTube, the uh, humanity. Time to make a video. I got me another Ice Mountain sparkling natural spring water. Today is a Friday. It is November the 2nd, 2018. It is a Friday here in Southwest Michigan. It is 8.32. It is 70 degrees inside my cell. My cell is padded because I'm in an insane asylum. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm in a nut house. I look around me, what's going on in America, and I just think, am I the only one that's sane? <laughs> anyway, as I uh, mentioned in my recent videos, I, my wife and I went to a bazaar, and uh, this was in the newspaper, Freedom Village. Hop, holiday shopping bazaar and it, it started at nine o'clock they sell all kinds of stuff but they always sell books and so every year I go the books are only like a dollar for hardback 50 cents for paperback and sometimes you find some good books sometimes you just you might just find one good book so I thought I'd show in this video what we got this morning. I'm not going to show you what my wife got. She got four or five novels. She's taking with her on her trip to visit our daughter and her family in Denver next week. But this is what I got at the Freedom Village Holiday Shopping Bazaar. And they sell, you know, crafts and baking goods and all kinds of stuff. But this, this is the used books. I got uh, The Epic of Eden, A Christian Entry into the Old Testament by Sandra A. Richter. Now, I noticed in the back when I bought this, it's an university academic book. And so right there I know it's, it's, it's going to be a good book. I mean, university academic is always worth spending 50 cents for. And uh, it's just a basic introduction to the Old Testament. And I thought, if I see at a used book sale or a thrift store a decent Christian book and it's really cheap, I'll just buy it if I don't have it in our library. So I got that. This is by Sandra A. Richner. She is a social professor of Old Testament at Ashbury Theological Seminary, which I think is a Methodist or Episcopalian seminary. And then I picked up this, The Creation of the American Republic from 1776 to 1787 by Gordon S. Wood. Uh, Gordon S. Wood is a very famous uh, American historian. He's written a lot of books. And uh, I had this, well, I had a hardback copy of this book that belonged to our oldest son. It was really old, and he left it here when he moved out. And I thought, for 50 cents, this is a great condition, clean text of this book, The Creation of the American Republic, 1776 to 1787, by Gordon S. Wood. So you can't go wrong. Now, for 50 cents. And then I picked up this uh, biography, which I found out is a four-volume biography. This is on Doskowski, uh, Dus Doskowski, The Miraculous Years, 1865 to 1871 by Joseph Frank. This is a, a massive biography. I didn't know it was multiple volumes, but if I wanted to buy them, I can buy them used from Amazon. But it's only 50 cents, and I have a, a, added to my Russian literature collection. And then I picked up these selected stories of Andre Dubius. I collect his writings. I thought I had this in hardback, but I didn't. 
So I got it for 50 cents and uh, when I was going through our books recently to take to the library, you know, de-hauling, I came across his books and I thought, you know, I really got to get read him someday. So maybe I'll get into these short stories. Then I picked up this little novella by uh, New York Review Books. If I see one, if I see a New York Review Books, especially if it's only 50 cents, I'll buy it. And this is called A Month in the Country by J.L. Carr. I know nothing about it except that it's recommended by Penelope Fitzgerald, who's one of my favorite writers. Penelope Fitzgerald and... Uh, Seems he's written a lot of books, but I've never heard of him. So I got that. It's it's uh, introduced by Michael Alroyd, and I have a couple of biographies. He did a very famous biography on Augustus John, the painter, British painter, and on the British intellectual Leighton Strachety and Bernard Shaw. I have those biographies by him. This Michael Hold. Holroyd, who introduced this. Then I picked up this edition of Moby Dick. As I've mentioned in my videos, I collect Moby Dick, <laughs> editions of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. And this is a second Nor Norton Critical Edition. I really like the cover. And it uh, has all these essays in the back. And it's a Norton Critical edition, second, so I got this. Then I bought this biography on Bonhoeffer, the uh, Lutheran minister, martyr, prophet, and spy who was put to death by the Nazis during the Second World War. He was a Lutheran, I think, theologian and minister. I know nothing about Bonhoeffer. When I first became a Christian back in the 70s, he was, and maybe even today, He's popular among some Christians for his his theology, which I know nothing about. But it was only 50 cents, and I bought it. And I bought the collective stories of Wallace Steiger. I had this already. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I have it in a big hardback. And I might even have it in a paperback, but I don't know. And I showed you that this edition, uh, this is... Ivoy Anderic, the bridge over the the Durin. I showed you this. I had a I showed you this other night. This is another edition I saw. I like the cover, so it was my like fifty cents. So those are the books I got at the Freedom Village Holiday Bazaar. I bought my wife some books. All these books came to five fifty. She bought four or five novels, so it was not, you know, five fifty can't go wrong. So then after the holiday shopping bazaar at Freedom Village, I had to go volunteer at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, which I do on Fridays from 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. And as I mentioned that the library is taking things out of circulation, and I found some books that they were taking out of circulation and I bought them <laughs> because, you know, I, I, I just bought them because I collect this stuff. And I, one of the things I collected that I bought that was going out of circulation, the Hendrick District Public Library here, is the Greenridge Village Reader, Friction, Poetry, and Reminiscence from 1872 to 2002. Now, I showed last year that I read this book, The Village, A History of Greenwich, Greenwich, Village, Greenwich Village, 400 Years of Beats, Bohemians, Radicals, and Rogues by John Strassenbrock. So when I saw this today, I just immediately grabbed it. And it's a selection of all these writings. It's from, it's like it, it says, fiction, poetry, reminiscence of painters and poets and writers and intellectuals and radicals and down and out people who lived in Greenwich Village from 7, 1872 to 2002 about 
Greenwich Village there in New York City. So I read that today when I was at the Book Nook. That's what, you know, my read reading from this today at the Book Nook. And then I picked up this thing by George Plimpton, The Man in the Flying Lawn Chair, Other Excursions and Observations. He's known for starting the Paris, the Paris Review. He did for 50 years. This is like a memoir or just him talking about excursions and observations. This is a little thing. Then I came across a book of essays by William H. Gass, Test of Time. He wrote uh, one of my favorite novels, The Tunnel. And he's written several volumes of essays, literary essays. And uh, I bought this. They're coming out sometime in the next couple of months. The William, Ga William, H. Ask William H. Gass Reader which I look forward to getting in from Amazon sometime in the future. And then I picked up another volume of essays and criticism, Do Considerations by John Updike. As you all know that I collect John Updike, his poetry, essays, criticism, novels, anything written by John Updike. I didn't have this one. I had other volumes of his essays and criticism, uh, which is Hugging the Shore in Odd Jobs. But uh, I didn't have this one. And then I picked up at the book nook, Michael D Dira, who was on, you can see, you can watch his YouTube videos. He's a, he writes like book reviews. He writes things about books. He's a, he's a book, Matt, he's a book, uh, a, biblio, a bibliomanic or bibliophile. He just loves literature, loves books, knows all about books, talks about books. It's just so I, this is what I was reading tonight. These are readings, essays, and literary entertainments by Michael Deere, which I, if you're really into, if you really are a book lover and you want to read the writings of another true book lover, Read Michael Dira. He's on YouTube. I think he wrote for uh, the Washington Post, Book World. For three years, he was a board member of the National Books Critics Circle. His essays and reviews have appeared in numerous publications. Now, th now this came out in two year two thousand, so it's been eighteen years. I'm sure there's. There's other writings. I have I have another book downstairs by him that I got used from Amazon last year, I think. So I've been reading that today. Readings, essays, and literary entertainments by Michael Deira. B. Deira. So that's what I got at the book nook. Some John Updike essays and criticism. Due considerations. Some more essays. Test of Time by William H. Gass. A kind of memoir writings of George Pimpleton, who was head of the Paris Review for 50 years. He started it back in the, I think 50s or 60s. And then I picked up the Greenwich Village Reader, fiction, poetry, and reminiscence, 1872 to 2002. This is uh, edited by June Skinner Sawyer's. So I was reading that today at the Book Nook. And I was reading this today. So this is my Friday reads for today. I don't, like I said, tomorrow is a Saturday. It's college football. Sunday is professional football. And um, this morning I didn't get a chance to read my Christian books. I got up. I had some breakfast. My wife and I went grocery shopping. We came home, put away the groceries. And then I went to the bizarre and then I went to the book nook and I came home and I spent the afternoon reading this and writing in my diary watching booktube and just sitting in silence feeling like crap you know I don't I don't really feel good I don't know what it is maybe it's we're coming to the end of the year I get the end of the year blues <laughs> I don't know anyway maybe I'm 
kind of bummed out my wife leaving for a week. Maybe it's the end of autumn and the beginning. I know that winter's approaching quickly. Maybe it's the sunlight. I don't know. So anyway, that's my Friday reads. That's what I got at the Holiday Shopping Bazaar at Freedom Village. It was really kind of strange because I, I was a little early, so I stood in line and all around me was all the tables with all the crafts and all the stuff that people had made. And of course, it was mostly it was these really people a lot older than me. And I thought to myself, someday, Lord willing, I might be that old. These people are like in their 70s and 80s and 90s. Some are really old, really frail. And I thought, man, we're all going to grow old. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So, but you know, in a way, I kind of feel kind of I feel part of the the, the old senior citizens. I, so I feel kind of like I'm part of this group now. This this uh, I'm now an old person, <laughs> so I can hang around with old people and not feel different or out of place. I'm just like one of those old guys and my wife's an old woman. <laughs> so yeah, people call me sir and I'm a, an elderly old bookworm, I suppose. Anyway, this is my Friday Reads. I hope you'll have a good weekend. I hope you had a good week. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. I hope and pray you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.